Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have swatches for you from the Golden Girls collection from Rogue Lacquer. This collection, I believe, has already released before and then they're restocking it on January 18th. So there are four polishes in this collection in the description box below. I will link the Rogue site, I will link their Instagram page, and I will link my Instagram page where you can see more swatches of everything from this collection. So like I said, we have four shades to look at today and let's go ahead and get started. So first we have Picture It, and this is a cherry red with a ton of cherry red micro glitter. It also has a gold flash to it and a holographic flash as well. So here is our first coat of Picture It. So this does cover really well here on this first coat. It's not completely opaque obviously, so I am going to go in for a second coat. The formula is good on this. It is across the board the same formula. They are a little bit sandy because these are very textured polishes. So here's our second coat and that does cover completely in two coats. Like I said, these are textured. If you don't like that finish, you might want either a really thick glitter eating top coat or two coats of top coat and they are gonna be a little bit difficult to remove. So there is two coats. So next we have Back in St. Olaf and this is a like emerald green with again a gold flash to it and these are emerald green micro glitter as well as the base and a holographic flash as well. So here's our first coat of Back in St. Olaf. This one is pretty opaque also on this first coat. I am going to go ahead and go in for a second coat. Again, the formula is the same, smooth, easy to apply. It just does have that textured feel to it where it feels a little bit gritty. So here's our second coat and that does cover again completely in two coats for me. Again, this one's going to dry very textured, two coats of a glossy top coat if you don't use a thicker one. And I do recommend a peel off base coat because scrubbing on these ones can be pretty intense. So there is two coats. So up next we have Many Many Men and this is a champagne gold with that gold micro glitter and holographic micro glitter. So here's our first coat of Many Many Men. So broken record, <laughs> good formula, smooth, easy to apply. It just has that textured feel to it. But that textured feel doesn't make it difficult to work with whatsoever. Here's our second coat and I feel like two coats in most days would be just fine. I was feeling a little bit picky this day, so I am gonna go in for a third coat. I think since this one is much lighter and it does kind of match my skin tone, I felt like it was necessary. But this does cover completely in three coats for me. Again, it's gonna dry very textured and it is gonna be pretty difficult to remove. So a thick top coat and a peel off base coat. So there is three coats. And lastly for today we have Shady Pines MA and this is a brown with a gold flash and a holographic micro glitter. And here's our first coat of Shady Pines MA. This one is pretty sheer on the first coat considering it's a darker color. I did expect it to be a little bit more like the first two where the base is a little bit more tinted. I still got it completely opaque in two coats and that looked just fine to me. Depending on your application, I could definitely see you needing three coats for this one though. But again, you're going to have that textured finish if you don't like that, which who wouldn't? You would want a glossy top coat for this one and either pure acetone when removing if you're okay with scrubbing or peel off base coat. So there is two coats. So my favorite of this collection is Shady Pines MA. This is so beautiful. It's not something I have in my collection already. I did top coat all of my swatches, but if I was wearing this in an any day manicure, it would definitely stay in its textured form. I think this is so, so beautiful. So Shady Pines MA is my favorite. And that is it. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of this collection. Let me know if you plan on picking any of them up and let me know what your favorite was. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and I will talk to you again next time.